RA, which is an acronym for rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease that damages joints and ligaments when the body's immune system attacks the body's own tissues. While the inflammation caused by RA can occur throughout the body, the effects of the disease are often most noticeable in the hands of an RA patient. Damage caused by RA causes stressing in the joints, now the ligaments, and ultimately causes destruction of joints at the latter stages of the disease. Earlier diagnosis and more effective treatments have made joint deformities diagnosed in people with rheumatoid arthritis less frequent and severe. However, in addition to the pain caused by the disease, these changes in the hands can make it more difficult to perform everyday tasks with the hands. In RA, the lining of the joints called synovium is attacked by the body's immune system cells. The synovium normally produces fluid that allows the joints to smoothly glide on their cartilage covers. When this inflammation causes the synovium to swell, a fibrous layer of abnormal tissue called panus forms and in turn releases a harmful chemical that causes bone erosion, cartilage destruction, and ligament damage. The destruction makes ligaments and joints capsule dense. This is a fibrous connective tissue that forms sleeve around the joint, making it less able to support the joint. This causes joint to lose their shape and alignment. As a result, joint becomes dysfunctional, causes pain, and results in visible abnormalities. These are more evident in small joints mostly common in the hands of the RA patients, causing most commonest hand deformities including botonel deformity, swan neck deformity, mallet finger deformity, pitchiker's thumb or Z thumb deformity, and rheumatoid nodules. This video gives a wide description of each of these hand deformities, but let's have a keen look at joints of the phalanges because we will be using them in the course of our description. Joints of the phalanges. The first one is MCP, metacarpophalangeal joints. The second one is interphalangeal joints or IP or proximal interphalangeal joints. And the third one is distal interphalangeal joint DIP. We'll be meeting these joints in the course of our description, so take note. Swan neck deformity. This is a form of hand deformity which occurs when the distal interphalangeal joint of a finger flexes and the proximal interphalangeal joint extends, whilst the MCP joint is in neutral position or slightly extended. Boutonniere deformity. This is another form of hand deformity seen in our patients. It occurs when the DIP joint of a finger extends and the PIP joint of the same finger flexes. The deformity is a reverse of swan neck deformity. It is usually due to rupture in the extensor tendon of the PIP joint of the affected finger. The mallet finger. The mallet finger occurs when MCP joints and PIP joints of a finger are extended and the DIP joint is flexed. This position of the finger takes the shape of the mallet hammer, hence the name mallet finger. The condition occurs as a result of rupture of the extensor tendon portion that is inserted to the distal phalanx of a finger, making the distal phalanx go into a flexed position. The Z thumb deformity. Many people know this to be Hitchhiker's thumb. In this condition, MCP joints of the thumb flexes, and the interphalangeal joints of the same thumb hyperextends. In addition, 
the trapezoid metacarpal joints of the same thumb slightly dislocates, leaving the thumb in a deformity exactly as indicated on the screen. Rheumatoid nodules These are hand lumps that are formed under the skin near the joints, most common in the fingers. They may also be seen in multiple areas even including the elbows. This condition may not be painful, but due to its nature, patients often may feel uncomfortable having their hand looking that way. Viewers, thank you for watching this very content. If you are a new member, kindly subscribe to this channel, give us your comments, and don't forget to click on the like button and the notification bell please another episode of video continuing on the hand deformities featuring dupitrain contracture trigger finger ap hand deformity bishop's hand deformity and wrist drop deformity will be coming into your ways in our next video stay tuned bye